Update 1 on Hurricane Madeline, which is currently located in the Central Pacific with winds of 100 miles per hour and a pressure of 973 millibars, verified by Force 13 SADOPS, moving west at 10 miles per hour, positioned at 18.3 degrees north of 144.9 degrees west as of 6pm UTC on August 29th. The storm is a Category 2 as we know and is headed towards the west and as you can see Hawaii is again caught in the crosshairs not for the first time this year uh, and the possibility of a hurricane landfall on the big island of Hawaii is certainly present though uh, the current track does call for the storm to pass just to the south. However, despite that, it would appear that tropical storm force conditions are nearly a certainty for the southern part of Hawaii's big island. After that, it will continue off towards the west, way over there into the central Pacific, uh, the rest of it that is. Uh, so, how does the storm progress over the next few days? Well, here we are. There's Hawaii starting to appear on the screen as we enter tomorrow, and then the storm gradually weakens into a Category 1, we expect, due to high wind shear, and then passing just to the south of Hawaii's Big Island is what we're currently expecting, though it could deviate away from that track, could go further north, make a landfall, and then continue weakening into a tropical storm. Uh, the further south it goes, the longer it is likely to live, so if it does move further north, it will probably dissipate much quicker, especially if it does make one of those landfalls. Sea surface temperatures aren't an issue. Look at that, 26, 27 Celsius, and only on the increase as the storm continues off towards the west. Uh, above 28, beyond the Hawaiian Islands, and over Hawaii itself, around 27, 28 Celsius. But there's the problem, wind shear over the Hawaiian Islands and beyond. Uh, right now the storm's in a good position, that's why it's been allowed to strengthen as it has done, and there could still be more room for that. Uh, we're not ruling that out by any chance. And there's um, the water vapour scene, a little bit of dry air off to the east, there's Madeline Lester off to the right, and doesn't that remind you of something? Maybe not quite in the sense of this, which is what we were looking at this time, on this day virtually last year, that there was Kilo, Jimena and Ignacio, which were all Category 3s at the same time, crazy. So here's the latest satellite imagery. There's how the storm's been progressing, rather compact, uh, which could go in its favour. Um, but there it is, moving off towards the west-northwest, we'd say there, um, with the ice starting to appear, and uh, possibly the beginnings of maybe some uh, annular characteristics there as well. Dry air off to the east and west, um, a little bit better to the west than it is to the east. Um, and it's sort of at a crossroads here, it could start to weaken again, it could really go on intensification run and maybe become a brief Cat 3, Cat 4 even, who knows. Uh, but we'll keep, keep you up to date no matter what, Category 2 right now, 100 mile an hour winds. There it is, headed towards the Hawaiian Islands, um, with Leicester on the right hand side, a stronger storm. Uh, and you can follow both those storms on the website, force13.com forward slash tracker, as it's written on the bottom of your screen. You can also see Invest 92C to the south of the Hawaiian Islands there as well, um, which has a, I believe, a low chance of development, if I'm not mistaken, possibly moderate. 50 storms have formed so far in 2016 worldwide, 22 Category 1 hurricanes or equivalent, and 11 Category 3s. If Madeline really wants to make a push for it, it could become number 12. But as it is, just a Category 2 and a 13th storm to form in the Eastern Pacific, and I believe the 14th storm um, to form in the East plus Central Pacific. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com and its forum, or you can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time. That's F O L O L 1 3. The next update on this storm will follow tomorrow. Until then, that's all for now. <laughs>